I lost. Did I lose sound? Oh, I guess not. <laughs> What's rocking, roadies? I get. I <laughs> start over. Cut. What's rocking, roadies? I bet that 50% of you were not expecting to see my ugly mug today. Whatever day this goes up, I don't know. Maybe Monday. Maybe not. I don't know. Uh, what today is? Phone's right here. I can actually just check. You guys can see me just checking. I like, I like this right here. So, uh, let's see. Wednesday, today's Wednesday, the 16th. So, that means tomorrow is rollout for this, uh, for MTG Arena, anyway. Um, and there were a few of you that wanted to see, that requested, actually, to see what are the packs. I don't remember having. I, Okay. Great. Nothing can slow me down. Okay. <laughs> All right. I, I got a Chandra. All right. Uh, so, <laughs> anyway, there's a few of you that want to see um, my blue white deck um, because I was telling you that it just pushes in Euro. The Euro deck is blown back. Don't mind all those crazy names, but uh, I, I might as well name them something fun, right? Um, but anyway, so this is the deck. As you can see, it's called the deck, uh, based after uh, the name is based after the very first blue white control deck, which um, uh, it didn't really have a name then, because I guess decks didn't really have names. They just call it like my Sarah Angel deck or whatever, but. Um, the deck, the very first deck, the blue-white control deck that evolved into whatever it is uh, today, this one, um, was they just, that's just what they called it. Like, did you face the deck? Um, I don't remember what it ran, but if you look it in, uh, check it out in, type it in on Google, I'm sure, or even YouTube, it would probably be better. Um, you could find out about the deck. So here's the deck. You probably already just looked through the whole thing while I was trying to yammer stammer and flip my tongue around and maybe get some words, but maybe not. If not, if you didn't, then I will tell you right now. Uh, opt, four ops, three banishing lights, one Moo Yanlin skies, <coughs> sky dancer, excuse me, uh, two Narset, Parter of Veils, uh, two, uh, four Sinsav, uh, two Azurius Locket, which uh, fun fact, uh, this is a second recording. I did another one a couple days ago, but I didn't like it. Um, so I scrapped it, and I was talking about this card. Um, it's only in here so that I can cast Time Wipe and wherever the other one is. Uh, uh, cast Off uh, on turn four. And I was saying in that video that I had never cast it. Uh, I've never cast uh, Azurius Locket. And then in that video, I ended up casting Azurus Locket and then on curve cast, uh, cast off and won the game, basically. Um, so that's just a fun fact there. Uh, anyway, uh, back to the list. We got three Teferis, four Baneslayer Angels, one Elspeth Conquers Death, one Time Wipe, two Sublime Epiphany. I love this card. <laughs> oh. mm. uh, a Dream Trawler, which we've never cast. Um... Three Rum Cloak Giant and uh, Cast Off, which we have actually cast the Giant before for Winsies, which is pretty sweet. Uh, four Thassa's Intervention, and uh, for lands that are, you know, noteworthy, Castle Ardenvale and Castle Ventress, and then we got down here uh, Temple of Enlightenment, uh, and then two life gaining things. Uh, sideboard doesn't really, really matter, I guess, honestly. Because I I'm just doing best of ones with it, and it's, I'm gonna have to take this deck apart in less than 15 hours. So because half the stuff is gonna roll out, some of the best stuff is gonna roll out to <laughs> stop that Euro deck. But anyway, the sideboard we want to know: two devout decree, uh, two disenchant, three revitalize, two aether gust, uh, a couple of essence scatter, a couple of negate, and also a couple of negate. So, here we go. We're going to go and do a match or two, depending on how long it is. Uh, standard ranked. We're not, we're not ranked very high because we haven't been playing a whole lot of MTG Arena, but we've been playing a lot of Smash. 
uh, which we, we do got some stuff coming up for you guys. Uh, I have. Hopefully that's not too loud. It sounds like it's loud, but um, I do have a montage coming up of my least favorite or second least favorite character to play against. Uh, Pony goes first. Uh, this is pretty good. Hopefully we're not playing mono red. Play Euro. Play the Euro deck. I'd be alright with that. That's what we want to show. I was thinking about this one. He's like, I don't know if I want to face E-Rock on this lava e flame. This deck. So... The thing with this deck... This makes this match really slow and grindy. It's usually a victory for us, but sometimes not. But it's just really slow. It's just a really slow match because I have to bait out all of the uh, stupid God's willings and stuff like that. Whatever you gain life, put a point in the camera. I'll say this to sing. Okay. Error, you should have a here. Okay. Pass. Pass. Sure. I'll just use it now. You know I'm going to use it. Uh, done. We'll keep that. Gonna need it in a second. Cool. Uh, so hopefully, he taps out here pretty soon. So that's the mind is a tempest that can be controlled. The sky is my domain. So we don't have to worry about um, him casting anything to make him indestructible. Because if we can cast this, if we cast this, the game is probably ours because we just slam down Bane Slayer and just beat him up. Because he's probably not going to have too many cards at the time we cast that. So just cast like two critters here, or eight critter, <laughs> and then cast two critters next turn. I don't know. Just play out, just empty your hand. Just discard it. Oh, dude, that's nice. But we still we have stuff to deal with it when we when we drive. That's I must have more secrets. That is a Um so We want to play this tapped. And play the nice set. That way. Those cannot proceed beyond the veil of reality are lost. So, if we find a banjo here, ah, oh, that's a big whiff. If we were to find a banishing light there, that would have been absolutely perfect. But we did not. So. Hopefully he taps out for something here. Here's the turn we want to tap, tap up something. So we're gonna take like five-ish, six-ish damage, maybe seven, depending on what he what he does. Or like forty-five. That's cool too. Feature or enchantment. So you're gonna die three, we're gonna take 11, 12, 13, 14 damage and live somehow. And then you're gonna cast that stupid spell and keep someone alive. And then real set. Huh?
Huh? Meditate and prepare. What just happened? Why did he just pass and not hit me? I was tapped out. Okay. He has protection, right? say there. I'm just so, like, taken aback. Okay, do we want to do, okay, this is a turn. Do we want to do Bane Slayer? Or do we want to do Teferi? That thing's not a creature, so I can't do anything about that. I'm at 16. Let's get two cards. Uh, I guess we go Bane Slayer. So that way we can And the next turn, see what he does here. Our next turn, we're just gonna swing and pass, and then we're gonna get him with sublime, sublime epiphany. Oh yeah. I didn't actually see it. Uh, Time to see your devotion away. Whenever another creature you control enters a battlefield or dies, gain one life. You want to gain that one life? Slam that a Johnny's primate into my cheeks. Hey, vanishing light. Perfect. Perfect. That might change, uh, change of plans. Uh, let's get this. And then we can go vanishing light. And get rid of that. And then we can cast a fairy. Alright, who's ready for a good time? I'm ready for a good time. Uh, let's get rid of, uh... Hmm. Jeez. I didn't want to, actually. I was still holding on to it and thinking about it, but I guess that's cool, too. Uh, no attackers this turn. If you're vanishing lights it, it's fine, and we just wipe him. And then we have a Teferi. Four, four, right? Yeah. Oh, he has to attack. Okay, that's better. That's worse. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh. 
So we want to try to get him to attack, though. If he does, I don't know what he's worried about. <laughs> you know, nothing here to worry about. I guess I'm looking at uh, Narset and Teferi. Whoa! Take it easy, pal! Alright, there we go. Now! Now! Um, he's got that stupid thing in the wings, though. So let's do this first. Let's go like that, and come back away. Uh, and then, he didn't do anything with it, so he doesn't have the thing to make. We'll bounce something, we'll create a token, and do that. So, we'll bounce the... that guy. Uh, we'll copy that, and I will draw a card. Block that. And this is usually about a time where people scoop. After that happens, they're like, eh, I don't want to play no more. But maybe he'll continue. Can't whistle. I'm trying to, you know the, the song from uh, uh, Robin Hood, the uh, Disney one? I can't do that. I can whistle if I suck in, but that doesn't, that, I don't, that's cheating. I slept really weird last night. My neck doesn't want to cooperate. What's this man's doing? Oh, he gave up. His turn. Um, so we're gonna draw our card first. Let's see what's up? Uh, we don't need the Teferi. Play this hand. Um. going to be not available next turn, so attack with Bane Slayer and keep one back to keep uh, Teferi protected. We'll get pretty aggressive in the second but I want to make sure that he doesn't have anything. But deprive him of literally everything. What do you do? Okay, 4 4 Angel. You have seven or more life than your starting total. Uh, no. I feel like that's a no. I don't know. I don't. Am I missing something? Only time you can cast a sorcerer. I don't know, I want. I don't want that. I don't need that really either. To be honest. Two. Uh, pay two, right? Might as well. Oh, oh well, I miscounted. I could do three, I guess, but it doesn't matter. I can't do anything else with it, and he can't do anything else, and there it is. Alright, so there's the deck. I mean, like I said, it's slow. When you play that match, but I was hoping to find. Oh, cool. 
Um, I was hoping to find the Euro deck because that is a fun time. That one, that one's actually a fun match. This one's slow and grindy and boring. Want to end with a pack too? We'll end with a pack. Let's get a pack. Another Chandra. I suppose I could just click store, and that would have saved a little bit of time. But who cares about that? But we're here to stay. We're here for a good time, right? What are you? Brawl Fist Oak. Looks kind of cool. What does it do like? Whatever you draw a card. Oh. Eh. I'm slow rolling you. Yeah. Oh, imagine seeing that. Like, you're walking. Did you see that meme where it's like. The, guy, the guy's like walking down the stairs and this something's like coming up. He's like, You see this in the middle of the night walking up the stairs. What do you do? I think it's a werewolf or something like that. But this thing would be totally worse. What does it do? There's a balcony, you may sacrifice a creature or discard a creature card. If you do, draw a card. Hey! Ugh. Oh. Oh. This is the worst card in existence as a, as a control player. I don't like this card at all. At all. Yuck. I wish I could burn it. Uh, but I can't. So anyway, <laughs> that's going to be that, I guess, for this episode. Hopefully, if next uh, future is the word I'm for, future episodes, how do I get so, why do I get so close? I'll just lean forward a little bit. I'm just like, I'm so, I'm not used to this. I'm not used to like, that and I can see me on the screen over here and you guys are over there so it's like it's really weird so like if I'm like just like leaning I feel like I'm in your guys's face I'm like I'm like, I'm like behind you in your face like that kind of. anyway don't listen to me I'm an idiot uh, but hopefully uh, some future videos will be a lot faster like paced anyway uh, hopefully maybe we can get in the second game because I don't want to make the videos too long because then I have a hard time uploading them and you guys know my whole history with uploading stuff. So. so, without further ado, do I will peace out. Now, thank you all for stopping by. Give some tender love and share a shout out. But as for now, rock on and rock out. Now I gotta figure out how to turn this thing up. Oh, here we go. <laughs>